Pittsburgh Steelers at the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, you know, listen, Eagles already elite defense. Trade for Robert Quinn this week. Um, this good luck moving the ball on this team, basically at all. Simple, simple handicap and quick one for me here, guys. I don't want to lay the ten and a hook because the hook is on there. You, you know, we we can sit here and say this all day. You can have a seventeen point lead in the fourth quarter, you know, and it's like you l- allow them to do the you know ninety seconds left on the clock, and you just let them kind of go down the field because you don't want to get any of your guys hurt. And then they squeak in the end zone, even though you're winning by seventeen points in the fourth quarter. And you lose this game on a hook and stuff. So I just can't get there. The Eagles are going to win for sure. This is a different caliber for Kenny Pickett. Hey, welcome to the real NFL small hands. Uh, this is where it's going to come to. This is where it's going to come to fruition here. But I, it's just the hook that keeps me off of it. Steven, uh, I, not much more to say this. Like the Eagles are better in every single level of the entire game. I mean, like they're better in every single level right now. It's just the hook on that 10 has it to where it's it's unplayable for me. But I can't play the Steelers because I need like I need 13. So it's like it's weird to say yeah. cap. Like I need under 10 for the Eagles, but I need 13 to play the Steelers. So uh yeah, go go to town on this one. No, I got nothing on this yeah. game, man. I mean I'm I'm out. I maybe Adam's got something because I can read a bunch of stats here, but you summed it up. They're better at every level and it's a very large number on a team that runs a lot. So, I mean, maybe you can (laughs) shorten the game and get inside the 10 and a half. Yeah. All right. So uh, here's what I'll tell you about betting this game. Um, I think you should definitely uh, check out my social, as Matt mentioned earlier, and come find the live betting show that we do on Sundays. Um, Mm -hmm. And on that live betting show, what I've said consistently is Philly is a different first half team versus second half team. Yep. And I think you're going to get an opportunity in this game to bet a couple of different things. If you see Philly get out to a 10 or 14 point lead, you're probably going to see a number like 18, 19, 20 on the Steelers. Mm -hmm. Play it. There you go. Play it. Because you're going, you're probably going to get there when it comes to that. You also could decide to play a second half under. I'm going to uh, give you the updated version of this stat, which has only gotten wider since I gave it to you guys the first time. Philadelphia in the first half is the second fastest playing team in the league at 26.3 uh, uh, seconds per play. In the second half, they are 31st in the league at 30.8 seconds per play they shut it down with a lead and we've seen it over and over again this team plays slow in the second half when they have a lead they do not widen that offense out in any way which makes sense they just happen to slow it down a lot more than other teams so i think it's a live betting opportunity on the steelers if this game goes according to plan i think that's a perfect way to look at it i think anything pre-game i think you're just kind of rolling the dice too much on this i think an in-game is is certainly the way to go 